Welcome back to another exciting episode of Aaron's Opinion, the podcast for blind people, where we talk about critical issues in the blindness community. I'm Aaron Richmond. Tonight, like all other episodes, is copy written by me, Aaron Richmond, and Aaron's Opinion. Thank you. You can watch us right here on YouTube, where so many of you do, along with listening on iTunes or wherever you get a podcast. 1240-681-9869. Aaron's Opinion 6 at Gmail. Dot com. This evening, we would like to welcome Paul Miller uh, joins us. Um, we were speaking a couple months ago, guys, somewhere along the podcasting trail, on the podcast community. He joins us now. You're a podcaster, an author. Uh, you work in broadcasting. You do a lot. Why didn't you just jump on in here and tell us everything we want to know? Go, Go for it. And as the conversation flows, we'll just have a nice yes. conversation. Go for it. Welcome. Yes, um, I'm a podcaster, author, massage therapy graduate, radio broadcasting student. I love talking, like I love podcasting. I got into it almost two years now. It'll be in July, I'll be, a, uh, be podcasting for two years. And I'm also a music artist. Like I love writing and talking. Good, okay. Now let's start with the, let's start with the, um, the author bit. So, you say, you know, you say you're an author. Great. So what do you write? What's your genre? What's your interest in, in, in literature and things? Oh, uh, my book is called MC Nook, The Formula of My Life in Hip Hop. It's, it's a how-to hip hop memoir. It teaches you how to make uh, hip hop songs. It has my lyrics in there and it talks about my life in the book too. I want to do an audio book also. Oh, oh, I can, oh, I can help you with that. Someone else who was on this show um, he's very knowledgeable about, you know, Amazon and, and creating an audible.com book. That, that, that's, that's an excellent plan. Let's do that. That's cool. Sure. That's cool. Sure. All right. Well, um, uh, I know, you know, I know it's a little, it's a little awkward all of a sudden, but why don't, why don't you just kind of talk about your life a little bit, kind of walk us through some of the, some of the key features that you would maybe mention in, in an audio book. Go for it. I'm a, uh, I was a high school dropout, uh, growing up. Like I'm, I'm 30 now, but I was a high school dropout. Like I gave up after I tore my ACL because basketball was my thing. I was playing in PE. I wanted to be on the basketball team and I tore my ACL and I kind of gave up. But I made a whole like like after that, when I dropped out, I got my GED and I turned around when I found my new passion, which was writing. And from there, uh, I went to college for massage therapy. I graduated. And then after that, like I was diagnosed with a um, with a mental illness. Oh. Yeah, uh, schizoaffective, and oh, it's man. it's been a roller coaster. It's been a roller coaster. Oh man, oh man. Well, um, well, my friend, let me let me tell you that you know, as 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 I mentioned before, I pushed record that um, I'm I'm blind. I've been blind my whole life. I I have glaucoma. Um, and um, I also have a congenital heart defect. I, I too, have had to uh, overcome a lot in my life. Um, my academic background is in the field of, of international relations. Um, and um, w- when, I was, when I was in university, I, I recall I, I, had, I had two acquaintances, two buddies of mine um, who um, had, have, have, have schizophrenia. And uh, I always felt really bad. I always, it was, it, it's, it's, it's really sad. So, um, yeah, you know, I, I talk to students from all over the world. I'm, I'm an English teacher. I teach English as a second language uh, wow. online um, with, you know, with some, some company or something like that. And anytime I get a student that's studying psychology, I, I always ask them, so what is, you know, a problem that you would like to solve for, for society? And, I've helped the students to conclude that a problem that's worth solving is schizophrenia and a lot of these uh, mental health, you know, issues. It really, um, it really affects people, and it, it was, and I, I, I feel really, I, it, it made me feel sad to see how much two of my acquaintances were suffering, and it was very frustrating to me that society does so little to to give give you and many others the treatment you deserve. So yeah, yeah. I, I truly am keeping you in my prayers, man. And I have found that 
podcasting is a really, really good outlet for expressing ourselves. And it's a really good activity. It's always positive. Every episode that I record is a positive one. Even if I might not feel perfect every single episode, even if every episode is not perfect, which they aren't, I still enjoy recording them because I think it really helps people. And that's something that I truly am determined to do here at Aaron's Opinion. You know, as I said, it's a podcast for blind people, right? But yeah. really, but really, I kind of lied. It's a podcast for you. It's a podcast for everyone because I'm really determined to do the right thing. I'm not, I'm not determined to tell you I'm going to do the right thing because that's talking. I'm determined to do the right thing because that's walking. And that's, and that's what I can do. Any other promises I'm not going to make because I might not be able to keep them. But, well, I, I tremendously um, applaud you for coming tonight and to, to have the strength and, you know, you know, you know, the courage to just, to just, to just talk to me about, oh, yeah. you know, about, about these things, man. That's so, you know, it takes a lot of courage, guys, to just come on to some strangers show that you, you, you don't even know me. I don't even know you. To, to be frank, I completely forgot what we were going to talk about months ago when I talked to you months ago. But the funny thing is, is that guests who come onto this show turn out to be the guests that I want to talk to. It's yeah. very magical. It's very magical and very odd. But I was telling someone else last night, I'll tell you, Paul, I'm so glad you're in the Aaron's Opinion community. I'm so glad that I'm able to help you. And if nothing else, just be helpful. Just be kind, yeah. you know? I want, uh, so, yeah. I wanted to say something. Uh, sure, sure. Yeah, you, you messaged me, it was a couple months ago, uh, yeah. and I responded recently, and but yeah, I look on the bright side and like my story didn't stop there. Like it's like, that's 2013. That's to 2013 mm -hmm. uh, when I was diagnosed. But like, since then, like it's 2021, it's, a, it's a, been a long story. And like, I got into music. Like I, I went to audio production mm. school at uh, Full Sail University online. And I did audio production for uh, three months. And then I didn't finish. It was a five months program. And then I started making music. I started uh, producing music like with with a uh, engineer with an engineer and like I loved it and then I got into podcasting and writing my book and now I'm I'm radio broadcasting student and I love writing and talking well that's that's wonderful well, you know, you know, since you mentioned music, since you fell for it, you know, I'm going to ask you to sing. For me. <laughs> so let's go sing, sing a little bit of an original. Give, give me some of your original, so a great original. Really illustrate your voice. Go for it, man. If you want. I got one. Well, uh, it's going to be great. Go for it. <laughs> I can't. I can't think nothing off the bat. Uh, but uh, well, just start, start I got a rap. Ready? Uh, well, lay it on me. I got raps and I, I do sing a little bit, like. Uh, Da 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 da, won't lie la la. I'm that nigga, I'm that guy guy guy. I heard pressure make diamonds. Why you send those emotions with tears? Why you cry cry cry? I'm with you until I die da da. Yeah I'm living, yeah I'm living. Orange juice the only thing I'm sipping. Something like that, <laughs> but it, it goes in, it it stands into more lyrics, but it, that's just how I go. Excellent, excellent. What about some like just more lyrical, like more, more, more of a melodic t t type of thing? You know, melodic. Uh, I have one uh, called "One Wish," and uh, I, I can't remember the lyrics. I, I'm horrible with memorizing lyrics, but uh, "One Wish." If there was ever a time like this, then it'd be nothing I would miss. But if I can make one wish. One wish, better government, better common sense. Yes, world peace, no more hunger. So I look into my, to the clouds, pick out the clouds, find trying to find the right words. Something like that. I, I it's, it goes way better than that because I, I actually um, recorded it. Hmm. Well, cool. Well, cool. Well, guys, I well, you know what? Well, you know what you can do if if you want. Um, if those recordings are on SoundCloud, if you want to send them to me after the show, I'd, I'd be more than happy to put them in the comments um, or the description of, of this video if you want. 
Maybe the um, lyrics. I I don't I don't have uh, ownership of the music like the beat. Oh oh okay. Well then actually no, well then in that case I'll pass. But but I I I, I completely understand. Uh, that's that's fair. Um, okay. Well um, any well anyway either way that's that's all really good. So basically that so those songs were like original songs that you wrote though, right? Yeah, it's my lyrics and my voice. Just not your um, instrumentals. Yeah, instrumental. Got, got. I do have gotcha. one. I do have one that I did. Like I actually brought the beat. Like uh, my engineer made the beat, and it's called. It's it's to the one of the Temptation songs. Like it's a it's a beat that he he produced, and it's um, mm. and it's like a sample he made, and it's it's called One Step Ahead of Myself. Like, but for sure, it's called One Step. Mm-hmm. It's it's based on a dream, based on a dream. Oh, good, 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 good. Yeah, there's a lot of great music from from this from the '50s, '60s, and '70s. A lot of magnificent pieces, no question, no question. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, well, really good. Um, now you said that you've been podcasting for a couple of years, so let's just dig into that. So, how do you structure your podcast? Um, who have your guests been? You know, how do you what what do you do in the, in the podcast world? Go for it. For podcasting, I, yeah. I look at it as like like a conversation over the phone and spontaneous from the heart. Mm-hmm. And you just like really um, like for free time, free spill is for your free time pleasure, for your free time leisure, spilling right. out information and gems for you to, for to empower you. And I just, I put it around, it surrounds uh, positivity, but how I structure it. I, um, I come up with the intro, like I'll schedule guests on uh calendar and I'll have the intro, I'll have the themes, like I have like three themes, and then I'll have the outro, which is just me closing, and the, uh, I'll have the topic, the meat and the potatoes of the uh, main points, and then I'll close it. Like that's how I, I usually structure, but I, I usually write some notes like when I'm interviewing people, sometimes I do it by myself too. Like I'll, I'll do like a solo episode. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, well, see, and that's how Aaron's opinion got started. I was listening to podcasts uh, for the blindness community, meaning podcasts that are geared towards, you know, a disability, you know, the disability community, disability audience. And I noticed something, Paul, I noticed that none of those podcasts, in my opinion, were open. And what I mean by open is they just weren't really receptive to guests. And they just, in my opinion, were just not really um, welcoming enough. And I'm someone who loves to educate people. I love to talk. I love to complain. I love sharing my opinions about society. And, 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 and from there I said, well, since I want to talk to myself, why don't I just push record? You know, well, next thing I know, I get into podcasting, answering different critical questions that I was seeing in various Facebook groups. And, and from there, um, you know, it started to build up from there. And I I noticed, oh, you know, now there's Zoom. Zoom's a lot easier to use now. Zoom is improving. Oh, we can do YouTube. And then I just started to upload and, you know, get the hang of it over a period, a span of time, you know, to get to my show where where it is, where it is now, now these days. Um, But, um, but I completely agree with you. It is really important to just have a really relaxed conversation where you just talk about what's going on and, and, and stuff, you know, and stuff like that. Um, so do you, now, do you only do a podcast side or do you do a YouTube? Because I do it. I, I do both. I do ends. both. I oh, do me both. too. Me too. That's good. That's I'm good. trying to upload more videos to YouTube. I'm trying to have a, a larger following and maybe mm. turn my podcast into a business. Oh, all right. All right. Well, that's, well, let, well, let me help you with that. One thing I do is with every YouTube video I put up, I put the, I put the anchor link because I use anchor for the audio side. I put the anchor link in the chat, um, in the, in the comments thing. And then people can either decide, okay, do you want to just watch or do you want to listen? And I found that over a period of time, that's how I was able to gain, gain a following. So you got to do both, both at once and all at, all at the same time, and then keep doing it over a period of time, uh, is what I have found. There's no, there's no, there's by the way, there's no magical solution. There's no magic key. In case you were watching a video that says, here's the magic solution to solve all your problems in life. <laughs> uh, let me let me disappoint you. There's no magical solution, except for the harder you work at it and the more you enjoy it, the more times guests will come. And that's one thing that I've consistently noticed. It's very, very fascinating to me and very, and very inspirational to me as a teacher and as a, as a successful blind person. You know, it's very, 
it's just very it's very entertaining and it's just it's very helpful i think so now you've said that you're studying radio broadcasting and things like that so are you working in a radio station talk more about that a lot of my audience really loves to talk about radio production yeah it's a it's a school it's online and there's an ebook there's quizzes there's uh, a blog you got to do every week mm -hmm. and you talk to a mentor you talk to someone that's actually working in the radio mm -hmm. and that's basically the whole program like uh, for 20 weeks expensive but I'm learning I'm learning a lot like how to structure um, prep clocks uh, all that with uh, radio mm -hmm. and I hope I hope to get a job in it or just you know better my podcast and you know get that uh certificate okay okay well i mean specifically what you know i mean i i i have been blessed with a with a lot of guests who do work in radio podcasting journalism all over the world really i mean this podcast is going out to all the continents it really is um so specifically what do you want to do in radio for a job like what what would your dream job be to be a personality to to talk like to do the talk and not like the engineering and the technical like mm. uh, working on uh, equipment and all that just just oh. to talk oh okay okay because actually i think the engineering job is really cool i think even though i just love talking and love producing content i could totally see how being the engineer would be really exciting like working yeah. behind the scenes to create great things without anybody noticing that would be really powerful that would be really cool actually um well, okay. So, so basically, what it comes down to, Paul, is you is you want to be an anchor. You you want to have your own radio show, right? Newscaster or like a better podcast, like radio uh, online station or something online, like that. Online station. Let me let me see let me see what I can do. There there are there are at least there are at least two people. Um, yeah, there are. Well, there's someone that I already know who already has an online radio station and they're looking for more anchors, more, um, more broadcasters, more DJs. Yeah, we can definitely That's make great. this happen. That's great. Yeah. Let's make this happen for you for sure. I'm, I'm determined to put you in touch with people I appreciate that I that. know. My pleasure, man. Um, it's really important to network and it's really important to find the right people who are actually going to really help you. There's two people I know um, for sure for sure who can who can help you with that so i mean that's that's really cool so i mean but i mean you know if you had your own if you have your own radio show like what's see the thing is with podcasts i kind of jump around from topic to topic and all of that but usually radio shows are more how do i even express it more structured there more like concrete they're more Structure. You gotta be professional. You can't curse on the radio and stuff like that. Well, that's that's why I'm not cursing. I know it's like I'm on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, actually, that but that is the fun of podcasting. This these um this content is marked as as explicit, um and but people have told some pretty explicit stories, but not me. I've I've heard some. Well, I, I, some of the episodes, some of the episodes. If if you go back to my archive, some of the episodes are so scary you would you would be you would be too afraid to talk to me again once you heard some of the stories that people have told. Um, yeah. But yeah, with radio you can't you can't curse. You have to be more professional. Um, and one thing that I notice consistently is you have to have like a theme. So like I totally understand. I feel that I understand where you're coming from, man. But like, what's your like, uh, what's your theme that you want to give to the radio? I got to think on that, the theme. Uh, uh, okay. Like, for example, well, like, l let's just kind of walk through it a little bit together. Like, let's say I was on the radio and I would say, hey, everybody, let's just imagine this is the Aaron Richmond show. Um, let's imagine the station, you know, Aaron's radio or something like that. Welcome back. We're, we're the radio show that talks about disability issues from around the world. And then, you know, I would go into a guest. So, like, what's your shtick? What's your, like... I mean, a, a station manager is going to ask this, and my friend will ask you, "What's your shtick? Your your niche? Your your bingo? You know, what's your, what's your what's your? How are you going to make the station make money? How what is your? Oh, what's even the? There's got to be a vocab word. I didn't study broadcasting, as you can tell. There's got to be a vocab word. The genre. Yeah, your genre, your 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 catch. Why should? Or let me phrase it a different way, Paul. Why should I listen to Paul? Why should uh, I listen to what you have to say? A great talk is a chat show. 
What's the chat show? Just any, any, and like, just as long as they're positive, like, it's, it's that's who's on the uh, show. Like, I'm interviewing mm. people. Mm. Okay. All right. All right. So, you want to do an interview show where you, like, you know, have conversations with people. So, when you interview guests specifically, what types of guests do you like to interview usually? Music, authors, life coaches, healers. All right. All right. So kind of a lot of the same types of genres that I've interviewed, just maybe more of them would be sighted people like you and less of them may in fact be have a disability, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, wait, what did you say? Well, m- maybe you? like, yeah. Um, so you want to interview just a lot of people from around the world that are doing a lot of different things, right? Yeah, yeah. Aspirations and all kind of uh, different things that they can they mm-hmm. can share with me okay. with the world and stuff. Okay, well, I, I, t- I, tell you what, I tell you what I'm going to do for sure. I'm going to put you in touch with a person. I'll, I'll tell you after the recording who it is. I'm going to put you in touch with the right people. But then in the meantime, they would definitely want to know, like, um, you know, in the, in the olden days, the way that people got into radio, and this is, this is truly fascinating, is they would actually take a tape cassette and they would actually record themselves pretending that they were on the radio. Basically, they would do a sample show. So I think that's one of the things that you may or may not want to consider doing. Um, some sort of a sample show where, I mean, you could even record it as a podcast where you basically simulate your show and simulate what you would do. Um, because I think that is, that is really, really important um and 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 stuff and stuff like that so i think that these two people would ask you know um a demo yeah yeah a demo a demo recording not really an audition i mean for the professional stations they go through auditions um of course in many cases those people that you hear on the you know the fifty thousand watts of freedom types of stations the major ones th- those famous stations Number one, nobody starts out there. Number two, those people who get there have been in the industry for 30, 40 years, even sometimes before they get to that level. So when they're there, they're ready to be there. But there's a lot of these little stations that I'm finding out about that are, are totally open to new talent, um, provided that you are ready, you know, totally ready to, to perform and totally ready to produce content that they would, that they would truly want. Um, on, on their station. So that's, that, that's all wonderful. Yeah. It, some even got training, like on the job training. Well, what do you mean? So are you saying that some of the like, stations? Yeah. Like physical training? stations, like physical radio stations, like some got on, on the job training. Well, that, well, that may be, well, that, that may be the case. Um, yeah. Um, so yeah, the, I, I, I'll, I'll put you in touch with this one particular person um who would uh, you know be able to uh, you know mentor you and be able to and be able to talk to you not not to mention i know that he needs more content or at least i think he does um he's very very knowledgeable the the other thing too is you have to hone in your knowledge too a lot of these people who work even in small radio stations or have an online station anytime i talk to them i learn so much about radio and broadcasting because they're very 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 extremely knowledgeable about that one area in society so they're just a wealth of knowledge it's really 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 cool really that's cool. awesome yeah so what topics would you cover in this uh audio book in in my book that i already have or like a new book well i thought i thought you wanted to put a book on audible.com right yeah like uh like an audio book on amazon like for like my my previous book that i made i also have a I want to I want to make another book but I I might not release it till 25 to 30 2025. Okay, and what would this book be about by the way? Uh podcasting, uh being an author, a how-to podcaster, author. Mm. Also um music. All right. And, and I want to also say uh like it, it's 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 four in one. It's uh, also pro cannabis. Yeah, it's okay. like all, all in one, four in one. Well, what do you mean? For, well, what's the four? I, I'm, it's I'm like four little... books in one. It's like four books in one book. 
four books in one. <laughs> so what? So what? Okay, you you kind you 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 kind of lost you kind of lost me there. <laughs> you threw me off with with with. with I, I got thrown off with the cannabis word there. So, <laughs> so what? You kind you kind of got you kind of knocked me off the tracks there for a second. Okay, yeah, okay, guys. So so, so how to so, how to podcaster how to right. author podcaster. Okay, music and pro cannabis. <laughs> 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 Cracking up. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. You can be free country, man. Smoke it if you got it. Right? Free country. Okay, do do what you want. The land of the free, the home of the brave. I'm not going to stop you. All right? That's okay. That's a sell. That's a sell. Yeah, I'm going to teach you about podcasting. I'm going to teach you about life skills. I'm going to teach you about broadcasting. Oh, yeah, let's talk about cannabis. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That's hilarious. Just the way, the way you... <laughs> the way you approached that it was so confusing. But then once I realized how you're hilarious. <laughs> oh my God. We got to, you know what? We got to get this thing on audible, man. You got to start making some money. You got to start making yeah. some that. Okay. If people say, fu- people say funny, funny, funny stuff on this show. That that was both hysterical and really unusual. <laughs> All right, chapter one, broadcasting. Chapter two, finance. Chapter three, podcast. Chapter four. Oh, okay. Let's talk about drugs. Okay, that's 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 incredible. That's incredible. Plant medicine. <laughs> that's incredible. That's yeah. That, wow, you've got material. You we maybe you know what maybe we maybe we really do need to put you on the radio. Maybe we really do because. <laughs> You know, just that level, that level of material is, 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 is radio worthy. Um, of course, you got to mention the other stuff. You can't just talk about cannabis for three hours. You got to talk about other stuff. <laughs> yeah, I do. I do. I'm, I'm diverse. I'm diverse. I'm broad with it. All right. All right. I, I can I expand. Have, <laughs> I, I have, I have a very strange sense of, that is definitely my sense of humor uh, for, for sure. That's, that's, that's my odd sense of humor. Nope. All right, guys. I've I've heard I've heard everything on this show. No, maybe I haven't. Um, I think I've heard everything now. Never heard it approached that way. Um, okay. Um, is this book going to be in the children's section or the adult section? Just just checking. Adult section. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's just a book in in uh, mind for like in the next five years. That's great. That's fantastic. Look. I've spoken with other with other authors. Um, I think I think Amazon will be will be the way to go for you um, as far as publishing a book on Audible or something like that. Um, <clears throat> you know, when you when you get closer and as you know as we get to know each other better in the podcast world, I can put you in touch with someone who's extremely knowledgeable about Audible.com and Amazon. Um, I don't know them well, um, but they have been on my show before. Um, actually you could reach out to them or, or it, it, anyway, I think there's, a, I think there's a lot that, that can, I think there's a lot of material, um, that, that can be, that can be done here. Um, there's, there's a lot of ways we can help you, yeah. you know? So what are some, so besides those four things, what are some other topics you want to cover in your book? That's, that's all the topics, uh, for that book. But the other book I had, the uh, the early one is about mm-hmm. music, mostly about my life, music, and my lyrics. I see, I see. MC Nook, the yeah. formula of my life in hip hop. Okay. On Amazon by Paul J. Miller. Okay. All right. All right. Well, you know, you could probably get that one on on Audible dot com um, if you wanted to, if you wanted to have someone read it for you, or if you wanted to read it yourself, right? Yeah, yeah. I could, probably can get someone. I just gotta find that person. I find, I find that authors a lot of times do not read their own work. Is that because you want to you want to be humble and you want to get a, a professional actor to speak for you? Is is that what that's about? Uh, just like I'm, like I want I want it to be really good. Like I, I'm on the author side, the writing part, but like with doing the voiceover is different. Mm-hmm. Okay, so maybe you feel that your writing I is could. good. I could, but uh, I'd rather have someone else do it for me. 
like for the uh, audiobook <laughs> with the voiceover? See, I don't know because I've never published a book. Um, I've had a crazy enough life. I probably could. And if I need to make up content, I could also do that. But, you know, the fact is, um, I don't know. If I wrote my own book, there's a part of me that would want to hire an actor to read it. But then there's another part that would want myself to read it just so people can really connect with my voice and hear how I talk and really hear how I think through things, you know? Yeah. Um, but no, I, I, I know that. I've noticed that, that most authors um, typically record um, <clears throat> uh, record a, a, in, in, an intro to the book on Amazon, on Audible, and then they record an outro, like a prologue and an epilogue, um, but then they have an actor read in the middle. I've noticed that. Well, um, at any rate, I think... I think you are, you definitely belong in podcasting. You definitely belong here on Aaron's Opinion. You are always welcome um, on you. this on this show. Um, I have a great community of people who would love to learn about your podcast and, and what you do. And by the way, so just as far as the podcast goes, so where can someone find your podcast? What's the easiest way for someone to find it? You just you type in the Google search, uh, free time, free spill. It's, it's also on Anchor. But uh, free time, free spill on <clears throat> Anchor, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify. That's the main ones. Ah, all right. All right. Any, I tell you Anywhere, what, anywhere. I tell you what, I will get, if you can, um, in a few minutes, if you can send me your Anchor link, your your Anchor profile, I can put that in, in, in the description. Um, and then people can go listen on all those platforms. They can find you in all sorts of ways. Yeah, you you'd, be, you'd be surprised. Paul. Well, people listen to podcasts on all these weird platforms and all these different ways of downloading. So it's important to have a full diversity of, of stations and platforms that you're appearing on. It's very strange, but it's very true. Well, this also, was... on, YouTube. also on YouTube. Okay. Well, well, either, well, either way. Um, yeah. Uh, either way, I find that more people, more people listen on YouTube, but my podcast audience are more diverse, are more globalized. So it's like my podcast side, it's a smaller group, but they're more spread out around the world. And the YouTube people, there are more of them, but less of them listen. So it's, it's a very strange, it's a very strange thing. It's a very, very odd and, and very, very, very interesting. Um, but I never worry about that. I just keep helping people and keep producing the very best episodes that I can as, as I walk through the journey of podcasting. Yeah. Pretty yeah. cool stuff. Pretty cool stuff. And I'm really, I'm really pleased to be able to help you so much. Um, so of course, um, as I say, <clears throat> as I say, um, I always, I always love to ask guests, guests. So Paul, if you can ask me only one question, a question to really make me sweat to see if I'm really worth my salt. What do you want to ask? What is like, uh, like, what is like being like not able to see and being a teacher? That's a wonderful question. It's beautiful. It's like, it reminds me of being blind and being a teacher, right? I have to do the best I can. I use voiceover. I use Apple products. I use voiceover. I connect with the entire world. I love teaching and I do my best. That's what it's like. That's a great question. All right. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Guys, if you have questions, um, so outside of, by the way, let me just make a comment about Anchor real quick that I think is being overlooked. <clears throat> if you want to get in touch with me, you can do so on Anchor by, by pushing the voice message button. It's a really good feature. Nobody uses it. I don't know why. Um, but I'm sure someone could get in touch with Paul, would, could get in touch with you on Anchor just by sending you a voice message, right? Yeah, they can. They can. Yeah, yeah I wish they would do it because it's really easy. You know, you, you're too busy to email, you're too busy to text. Just send a voice message. It's a perfectly good way to communicate. You can do it. <clears throat> you can do it right here on Aaron's Opinion. You can send me. <coughs> excuse me. You can send me a voice message. You can also drink some coffee. Ah. Um. And anyway, that was a another, as always, another magnificent episode that I appreciated recording every moment of it. All right. I'm about, I'm about to drink oh, some yeah. coffee too. <laughs> <laughs> well, on, on my podcast, we allow drinking coffee. So it's 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 a it's a part 
it's a part it's a part of podcasting yeah even though it's late i, I know uh i got a lot i gotta schedule a lot of guests like i gotta come up with the themes and the interview yeah, well questions. you gotta you gotta schedule. you know you know oh, oh i know one of those guests you 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 have to schedule aaron richmond <laughs> yeah yeah I mean, that's kind of a hard person to schedule since I'm so busy. That, that, that one, you might, that, that might keep you up all night just trying to get me on your show. <laughs> okay. Anyway, anyway, um, guys, click the link in the description for more information about Paul and his channel. Um, know that, Paul, you are welcome forever on Aaron's Opinion, as all of my guests are, all of my great guests, they're welcome forever. And don't worry, uh, you're going to be added to my private group. So I will always you'll always be able to ask me questions and talk to me. And I'm, I'm always here to help Aaron's opinion and all our guests from around the world are ready to help you in just a couple minutes after I get this published. All right. So thank you for having me on the show. You are always welcome, Paul. Aaron's opinion, six at gmail.com. One, two, four, zero, six, eight, one, nine, eight, six, nine, one, two, four, zero, six, eight, one, nine, eight, six, nine. All right, everybody click the link in the description for more information stay positive everybody and <clears throat> and of course thanks so much paul i wish you the very best of health the very best of luck uh don't um don't hang up um because i want to talk to you for just a minute all right and, and of course as we say see you next time all right everybody as i say oh and you also have that you also have to have a slogan on the radio our slogan is a really good one in my opinion help one person today help a million people tomorrow.